Are you walking dead? If you're living and breathing, your answer would probably be no. Dead things don't walk unless you're in Hollywood. This weekend, you may have kids looking like zombies and ghosts walking around your neighborhood wanting to eat your chocolate. But under all the makeup and costumes, they are very much alive, smelling like teen spirit. I don't do scary stuff. Some of you love to have the hairs on your neck stand straight up. While I do not, I do remember one such big thriller movie I watched about 20 years ago where the main character was a kid who saw dead people. The big spoiler is that the other main character in the movie, who you think is alive the entire time, is really not. He's dead too. He just didn't know it or want to accept it. It's wild, but what's really scary is it's something many people all around us are doing. They just don't know it. They're walking dead. How do I know? Because I was one of them. Ephesians 2, 1 through 3. And you he made alive who were dead in trespasses and sins in which you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience, among whom also we all once conducted ourselves in the lusts of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, just as the others." I was dead in my sin. My heart was pumping, but I was spiritually dead, walking around unaware of my separation from God. I was deceived, not knowing my true condition. Romans 5.12 explains it more in that sin entered the world through one man, Adam. In that moment, death spread to all mankind as a result. We are born into sin. When we live our life rejecting or unaware of that truth, we walk, live out of, and feed our sinful nature anything it craves, unaware we are walking dead. Nothing we can do on our own can save us. Now the hairs are standing on the back of my neck. It should scare us. But God, Ephesians 2, 4 through 7, but God who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace you have been saved and raised us up together and made us sit together in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us, in Christ Jesus. Praise God. This is the light in the dark. Rescue moment, my friends. But God who loves us made a way. He brings us back to life with Christ through faith in him by grace alone. Just as sin and death entered this world through one man, freedom and life entered through Jesus. God reached down while we were all walking dead in the middle of our flesh-feeding frenzy and made a way, conquering death, hell, and the grave. When we receive that gift of life, only then can we look back and truly realize how dead we really were. That's the truth. Don't be walking dead. Real life is waiting for you. Look to the truth and you'll see it. I'm Lori Klein.